Hello, and welcome back to Inside the Runner Studio. This is your host, Tom, and with me as always are Aaron, Michael, and Diana. Hello. Hello. Hi. And we are super excited today to have our friends from the Run, Eat, Drink podcast. Hello. Hello. Hey, guys. Hi. How are y'all doing today? Good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. We're doing good. We loved your, um, we popped on your little live show that you did. Uh, what was that? How, I feel like time has stopped over the holidays, but <laughs> yes. um, when was that? A couple weeks ago. You guys oh, were, yeah. When you guys do your, live. Yeah, yeah. When you guys do your Instagram lives. Ooh, oh, yeah. I think it was a Christmas yep. Eve one. Yeah. Oh, Christmas, yeah, Eve. Christmas yeah. Eve. Yeah. Which feels like five minutes ago and five years ago all the same. <laughs> yeah. Like all of 2020. Yeah. Time, <laughs> time does not matter. Yeah. We just thought we'd have a nice holiday beverage by the Christmas tree and invite everybody into the yeah. living room. Yeah. 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 It was great. Loved it. Yeah. And you got a bunch of questions on the, uh, the, the Death Star that you have. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. I, the tree yes, topper? Yes. Yeah, the tree and topper. unfortunately, at that moment, I had packed away by accident the remote control that triggers the, the Death Star. Oh, okay. Topper, so I couldn't play the Imperial March uh, on command. You had one job. <laughs> one job. <laughs> Epic fail. <laughs> well, we'll get it right next year. Right? Here's hope in 2021. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our, our kind of mini series um, where we get to know folks in the running community. Um, I think you're familiar with the format. This is kind of rapid fire. We're going to ask you a bunch of questions. There might be some follow-up questions, but super informal. Um, but before we get into all that, can you tell us who you are and where you're from? Well, um, the We Are the Runny Drink Podcast. I am the intrepid co-host of the show. I'm Dana Costin. <laughs> intrepid. The, like that. the brains behind the operation <clears throat> is this lovely woman to my right. Oh, you give me so much credit. Uh, I, you are more than just the intrepid co-host. <laughs> my name is Amy Costin. I am the host, I guess, the host of the Runny Drink Podcast, and he is my co-hosts he is craft services he is <laughs> technical support he's Pack all fuel. yes he, he does fuel. everything for us so he doesn't give himself enough credit but yeah we're from the runny drink podcast we like to accomplish explore and indulge by running uh, races across the country when you could yes yeah. <laughs> and then featuring could. yes yeah and then featuring local food and beverage uh, to show people where they can explore, indulge, and celebrate their accomplishments. So it's nice. awesome. We love listening to you. Yes, oh, we, do. we love listening to you all too. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I. What now? What what beer are you drinking there today? This is. Uh, We've had this in our refrigerator for a little while. I was surprised you opened this. Actually, it's a oh. pump, pump queen from Bonesaw Brewing. Yeah, nice. Ooh, it's yes. a local brewery here, so it's a little bit of a lighter. It's like a cream ale take on a pumpkin beer. We actually Ooh. just finished a Florida beer like ten minutes ago. Um, what was Ooh. that? Guaya something. Uh, Guaya City. Yeah, yeah, from Cigar yeah. City. Cigar City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cigar City. Cigar City. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was the first brewery we had on our show. Yes. Oh, nice, so. nice. Yeah, Cigar yeah. City's really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Highlight. Love it. Highlight is the hoppiest beer, I think, that I've ever had. <laughs> it's very hoppy. Yes, yeah. that's true. That is so true. We've been yeah, into we, super we light beers. We are typically, for, for as much <laughs> as we like beer, and, and because beer and the running community almost go hand in hand. Yes. Yeah, so true. Over the, over the four plus years of doing the show, uh, we're not real hop heads. We tend to mm -hmm. stick more towards uh, maltier beer, yep. ales. Okay. That type of thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. We're the exact same way, Tom and I. Although I know Michael, you're really into. Yeah, the we've become very happy. We're I don't very know why. into the. <laughs> right now, we're on, like in a hazy IPA uh, phase where I think uh -huh. almost everything in our refrigerator is yeah. a hazy IPA. I think we just want to pretend it's summer year round. I think so yeah. too. Um, <laughs> and ignore can, the weather I get outside that. Yeah. with your temperatures. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm very seasonal with my beer. Like right now I am in full like winter ale mode. Like I'm very, like everything I'm drinking is very yeah. spicy. Everything has all of the spices. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I would say that's true for us, except for what, when I can run, I'm currently recovering from um, knee surgery, but when I can run the best post-race beverage we have is one that we first experienced in Epcot at Disney in Canada called Moosehead Lager. Oh, nice. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, we love Gosh, it. Super light, crisp, yeah. 
great post run beer. Yeah. And back then they used to do that race as a 10 p.m. start time. Yeah. So they oh, would yeah. keep it open till 4 a.m. Nice. So what better just to kick off your night with them with a, a nice crisp lager? Yeah. Love it. Love it. I love right. it. Diana. Tastes like victory. Yeah. Do you want to start so, our. Yeah, let's jump right into our question. So that was okay. actually a perf- that was a perfect lead in. Um, oh, yeah. There we go. How did you guys get into running? Like, how have you? How long have you been runners? She made me do it. <laughs> what? That is not. That is totally not. Come on, that is not entirely true. No, well, no. that leads into our second question: was who found running first? <laughs> so. <laughs> Well, I, I, I slowly raised my hand. Yes, I I was uh, looking for a way to celebrate a weight loss that I had back in 2010. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I had just had uh, eye surgery, uh, detached retina, and then, and then gone through um, weight loss. And I said, well, I mean, let's let's start running. Let's just see what we can do. And we did a local 5K, and, but really caught the bug when we ran that first nighttime wine and dine half marathon, which was a relay. Yeah, okay. this is when oh, yeah. Disney still yeah. did that one as a relay. Yeah. So there were two legs. One was an eight miler. The other was a 5.1. It was Chip and Dale, wasn't it? I think. <laughs> no, that was a different relay. Ooh, that was a different relay that we gotcha. were a part of too. Yeah. That for marathon weekend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, so they do this relay and Amy's like, let's do the relay. I'm like, okay, great. We're going to each run six and a half miles. And she's like, no, you're going to run eight. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I said, yes, dear. Okay, of course. He should have had me That's run amazing. the longer leg. I know that. <laughs> That's amazing. Whatever. So but, you you just decided you were going to run and then invited him immediately into it. So it wasn't, yes. I'm going to start running. It's, we're going to start running. <laughs> we're going to start running. We're a team. We're a pair. Where I, he just, yeah, I, he's so supportive and encouraging and just, he, uh, I said, we're going to do a trip to Disney. And then I said, we're going to run there. We've so. said a few times now on our last, <laughs> even on our last one uh, that we had guests we had, we said, run Disney is like that gateway drug to running. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's yep. like totally a true. gateway. Yeah. <laughs> You know, we, we talk a lot about Disney and we, and we are very careful to let people know we are a running podcast or travel podcast for runners we are not a disney centric podcast but because of our proximity to disney yeah yeah and because that, that is such a popular destination place for people all over the world yeah. we do a lot of disney content or yeah. the run disney races as a result of that yeah sure. And that was that really did help us catch the bug because if you're looking to stay distracted along your race course, we're <laughs> oh, yeah. better oh, to be yeah. distracted. Absolutely, music, yeah. characters, Disney. theme parks, Absolutely. possible rides. I mean, yeah. that's how we all know each other was through Run Disney, a podcast, who then started another podcast, Team Shenanigans, and oh, then yeah. that's how. So that's how we know each other is through Team Shenanigans, yep. um, yeah. and, which is the Run Disney community. So love that. I mean, again, it's it's the gateway into friendship and running. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. So you kind of answered all a few questions all in one, which was uh, who started running first? Did the other start because oh, yeah. one the other one was running? So the uh, next question is: Do you guys run together or or separately or a mix of both? I think it's it's more a mix of both, and yeah. part of that is because when we started this uh, ten years ago, I was working shift work. I'm a law enforcement officer full time. And back then I worked the 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Mm. night shift. Mm. And it's a 15 day a month alternating schedule. So I have a long week and then a short week and then a long week. And it just it never really worked out. So I would always keep my my nighttime hours, even in my days off. OK, so I would yeah, run so it's always very consistent. late at night. I would get it in when I could so that I wasn't alternating or flipping my schedule in my off days, trying to keep the impact of shift work down as much as I could. So now that I'm on a more normal schedule, we try to at least do our long runs together. Yeah. That's yeah. I would say that. Yeah. And I would also say that he, he is infinitely faster than I am, (laughs) but he will, he will stay with me or he will push me forward and he will kind of, be my buffer like you know for the balloon ladies at at Disney Uh, sweepers Mm -hmm. you know yeah so he he'll stay with me he'll do whatever I need 
him to do to be to so I can be successful. Oh, so that's that. it's yeah. yeah he's, that's awesome. He's great. That's he's support. Great. Cool. I got a good egg. Yeah. <laughs> the main thing, like when I when I'm doing my training runs and stuff, I'll run my pace. But when it's yeah. race day, we run together. And there yeah. was just that's one nice. race, the Fort Lauderdale half, the A one A Fort Lauderdale half, where you were like, hey, you know, I'm I'm going on my own. I'm going to go for my PR. So. Yeah. And that, that was me assessing what I could do after my knee surgery. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Where you felt like you were ready for it. So take advantage. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So. So. Yeah. Midday. Morning, evening runners. What's the preference? Morning. morning. I love yeah. the morning. I love to do it. You know the quotes out there that are like, you know, do it before your before your Brain. body knows what's yeah. happening. Yeah. <laughs> your catches up and yeah, whatever that is out there that me. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be a, a very very late night runner because of the shift work yeah. and that that was not uncommon for me to run in pitch darkness and I have since changed because of my schedule change i'm now a morning runner to get it out of the way because if i know when i get off work chances are good you know we have either something for our podcast to do or you know just life in general so yeah. you know if i can beat life to the punch at 4 30 in the morning then i do that okay. <laughs> there you go plus you guys are in florida right so oh, you gotta, well, yeah. oh gosh <laughs> you gotta beat the heat sometimes yeah. you can be a midday runner in florida <laughs> i think if you're trying to train for that yeah, it, we've made that mistake before. And <laughs> that that's the that's the part or the time when it's really hard for us to keep our our clean tag on <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, afternoons in Florida. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I mean, that would be really good training for say the Somo half marathon in Key West, right? Because that is the hottest time of year, and that was just brutal. Oof. So oh, that gosh. would be good training, but no, <laughs> no. All right. So what is your preferred race distance and why? You want me to go or you go? Well, I would say I agree with you. Oh, okay. I would say <laughs> the 10K is the perfect distance because I don't know. I don't know why a 5K feels like it takes forever. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm with to you. me, I'm like, oh, we're only on, because I guess because the first mile is always a liar and you're, it's always yeah. like, oh, God, this is the yeah. worst yeah. ever until your body True. gets warmed up and you get into it. But I think a 10K is just enough. Like you, you have the time to get warmed up, to get into the distance, to have some fun, but then you're not like, oh my God, we're at mile nine, 10, 11, yeah. it's going to take forever. We'll never get there. We're so tired. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. I, I like the 10K. It's just like Amy said, the first mile of any r- run you do is kind of the warm up. So that one really doesn't count. And 10K is long enough to let you get warmed up, get to the peak run, and then it's over and your day's not shot. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. it's far enough to feel challenging. If it's a Disney race, then it's mostly in the parks too. Yeah, okay. that's really true too. Yeah. Right. Um, one of our favorites for the the run Disney races was out in California when they were still doing those, those races out there and you never left the park for the 10 K. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was, it was so great. Fantastic. That's awesome. So great. Yeah. 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 I'm with you. I think, I don't know a 5k, especially I noticed this when I was marathon training, like I hated running a 5k. I thought it was way more difficult <laughs> than running like a further. I was like, why does everything hurt during this 5k? Yeah. <laughs> because it takes a little while like, to warm up. By the time you're warmed by up. Time you're yeah. Warmed up it's like, over. By, yeah. By, by the time like your body's like, Oh, this is happening. You're done. Yeah. 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 But in full transparency though, we've never run a marathon. Okay. No, we trained for we trained for one. Yeah. Uh, we we got up to twenty five miles in our training wow. distance. Oh my and god! Then, and then we you might as well the... run the marathon. <laughs> yeah. What happened there? Uh, well, okay. So we're Galloway runners. Yeah. We, yep. We're run walk runners. We have shirts for our for our podcast that say we're not slow, and then on the back they say we make the most of the race entry fee, yeah. <laughs> and that's because we stay on the course as long as possible, or as long yeah. as they will let us stay on the course as possible. And part of the Galloway method is the last long run is just, is the race distance or a little bit longer Mm -hmm. so that when you get there, you know, you can do it and you're confident. That's the philosophy. So we did 25, 25 miles. And then the week before the marathon, we caught 
Oh no! Uh, got the flu. Got the flu. Oh jeez! Oh. Pretty close to pneumonia. So sorry. Yeah. Wow. So. And this is back in before the days where Run Disney would let you defer or do any. Yeah. Oh, so they were like, gosh. "Hey, thanks for your race entry fee. We appreciate it." Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, but the this past year we had the pleasure to interview Chef Art Smith on our Ooh. show, Ooh. and he at the very end of the interview he. Uh, he said, no, I'll do the Disney marathon with you. Uh, nice, nice. He said he would never train for one again until, <laughs> until Chef Art Smith said he would run with us. So, well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. So we're yeah, like, exactly. what, what do you have to do, right? <laughs> right. You, I mean, that's a once in a lifetime thing. So we signed up for it. We started the training for it. And then, you know, 2020, 2020. happened. Yeah. 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 Yes. It happened so, to us all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I love it. So I know you guys talked a lot about Run Disney, but that's kind of proximity. Do you guys mm. have a favorite destination race? We do, or at least I do. I um, know what you're going to say. Well, you go first then. Yeah, I know what you're going to say. And it's really, it's um, the once in a lifetime destination race would be the Anchorage Run Fest mm. in Alaska. Oh, wow. Interesting, yeah. Alaska's always been on my list. Well, yeah. the 50 states are on my list, but uh, Alaska, oh, yeah. I've always wanted to, that's a big one. Yeah, yeah, we we did the Anchorage Run Fest last August. So we we flew up and we did the the packet pickup and and we're we're there getting the full experience at their expo and then there's the sign that says you know the black flag conditions are going to be expected on the race. What? Like, oh, it's going to be super hot. And I'm looking at her like what did we pick What just the wrong happened? Time of year to come here. What in the world? So we start talking to people and they're like it's unseasonably warm. And we were outside so we knew it's not it's really nice. Is How it really hot gonna is get it going to get this bad tomorrow? Really? And they they're saying slow down. We don't want anybody falling out from heat exhaustion. It's going to be 70 degrees tomorrow. <laughs> Beautiful. This is the dead of our oh, winter. So we're, we're like, we got this. We're good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, I love it. That's hilarious. And this was a race that was my, it was my first one that I could walk after my knee surgery. Oh, okay. okay. So I, I walked the entire distance of this one. Mm -hmm. But we got amazing photos throughout the course. Oh, it was the gorgeous. Alaska Railway. We're right along the water oh. part of it. It's all. You know, they, they were telling us, you, know, you have to look out for bear and moose on the course, nope. which we didn't encounter. <laughs> there was a humongous tree that fell on the course. Oh, wow. We were, we were, we were having a windstorm that day, and a tree fell on the course. They had to come out and, and actually uh, chainsaw the tree up. To we had to the climb course. over it we had on the way the tree, out. Climb over the tree to get. <laughs> yeah. oh, and then it was cleared up by the time we were coming back. So. Oh, God. <laughs> But it was beautiful. That that for me is is my favorite. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I have sentimental favorites because I love Atlanta and I love the Jeff Galloway uh, half marathon weekend. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I just I I love that. It's it's kind of hilly, but not too too hilly. It, it the the belt line is beautiful. The the running community is amazing. And Jeff Galloway, our running coach, is at the finish line no matter how yeah. long it takes us to get there. So that's, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So why did you guys start a running podcast? Oh. <laughs> well, we started running well before we started the podcast. Yes. Yeah. And but we we are always avid podcast listeners. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are, we're voracious listeners. I'll listen to them. I have an hour commute to work and mm -hmm. I'll listen on the way and on the way home too. And we just, one day we were walking the dogs and we said, you know, we love podcasts. We've always wanted to do one. We run, we eat, we drink. <laughs> I mean, if you're a human that likes food and drink then this podcast yeah. is for you yeah uh, I don't, it, it just it, I, I feel like we just we were walking the dogs one day and said we, we should combine these two because people at races are always asking us hey where have you run uh, when you're there what mm -hmm. are the great sites mm -hmm. what's the great yeah. food and beverage and we wanted to kind of be a resource as far as that goes for the running community 
and and this it really is a natural extension of conversations we've had with fellow runners. Exactly. You know, we you go to an expo, you end up meeting up with some people, and you talk, and you're like, "Well, where are you guys going to dinner? What are you going to do yeah. after?" Mm-hmm. You know that type of thing. And we're like, you know, the the best podcasts to me are just people hanging out and talking, and you feel like mm-hmm. you're the extra person at the table. Yeah. Yeah. And that's kind of what we we wanted to create for our listeners and and what you create for yours as well exactly yeah so so that was kind of this the natural extension of the conversations that we've had and mm-hmm. then you know we said well this also gives us a really good excuse to go sign up for some awesome races all over the country yep. yeah and yeah well, there you go if we yeah, we have to the podcast yeah we yeah, oh, yeah. sorry <laughs> no go ahead go ahead if we hadn't started the podcast then we wouldn't have had experiences yep. like uh, like meeting you all, like uh, meeting some of our running heroes, like uh, Marco Cicetto, like uh, Jeff Galloway, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. Um, Meb Kofleski. Mm. Oh, wow. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. It, yeah. 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 So and, cool. and, and just to meet everybody in the running community that we have met as a result of the podcast and the brewers and the chefs. Yeah. And they're just such great people you find in this community. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Well, jumping off of that is a sort of a combo question. What are your, say, favorite brewery and or dining destination that you've hit while racing? Oh, how, how long do we have? Yeah. Uh, you got to pick, pick, pick one. Oh, my God. You go first. <laughs> well, I would say one of my absolute favorites for oh, was this was this brewery or dining oh, oh you could do you either can do both either or, or both, both. Oh. yeah yeah okay um one of my absolute favorites amy mentioned atlanta mm. and one of our favorite places to go in atlanta is actually a place that i used to go in college when mm. I, I went to school up there and oh, yeah. it, it, back then it was a they only had one location that was called the flying biscuit cafe And this is an amazing place for breakfast and brunch. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing better than finishing the Jeff Galloway half marathon weekend. You go and you uh, finish the run. You're freezing because it's 28 degrees at the start line. (laughs) And raining. For me, we may as well be running on the planet Hoff. It's so cold. (laughs) I I, am... ready for something warm and their food there they do this amazing uh, cheesy grits oh, dish yeah. with a with a fried sure. green tomato and a and a fried egg on top mm. and mm. it's just the most soul warming comforting food that you'll ever have and in that instance you're there with a lot of fellow runners who are also migrating oh. there to the, one of the locations that's near Piedmont Park and it's just it's it's so much fun. And then as far as drinks go, I'll I'll, I'll say something similar on that same weekend. At, at you're going to do it. His weekend yeah, you are. encompasses good. a 5K good, good, good. as well, the Barb's 5K. Mm-hmm. And that one is named for his wife. And at the end of the 5K, you walk up the hill to a brewery that's adjacent to Piedmont Park called oh. Orpheus Brewing. It's uphill, but it's worth it. It's worth the last <laughs> hill. But they, they have their own Rick House. They they specialize in barrel-aged beers, and they have about 32 beers on tap. And it's mm. all their own stuff. They don't do too oh, wow. guest taps. And part of the post-race party there is all the runners migrate up and they do little beer tastings. You get like six tickets and then you buy the rest of on your mm-hmm. own. And that's for me, one of my favorites. Love that. I thought you were going to go a completely different route. Okay. I thought you, Oh gosh. I thought you were going to go to Trader Vic's in Atlanta. Well, mm. for, oh. the, for the tiki lifestyle, I yeah. mean, it is pretty amazing. Because the home of the original Mai Tai. I mean, we are tech- mm-hmm. we drink a lot of beer. Not, you know, we love a lot of breweries. But, uh, yeah. Professionally, oh. professionally. professionally <laughs> it's post-race recovery. It's necessary. Agreed. Medicinal purposes. 100%. Only. How's that? Yeah. Uh, oh, gosh. It's. You've stumped her. <laughs> the embarrassment of riches is what it is. It is. We're so lucky because, I mean, like, say, for example, in Kentucky, 
some of the best Mexican food we've ever had. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Shocker. Yeah. Yeah. Shocker yeah. in Kentucky, mm-hmm. in Lexington, Kentucky, we had a uh, Poppy's Mexican restaurant. And Marcos Valdez, he does it right. He brings all of his mother's recipes and some wow. of his own. Oh, that's amazing. And, and there is just a, a queso with peppers appetizer that he does, that he, he makes himself. And it, it, eating there is just like eating with family. So, mm. And that was a great meal after oh. the... We ran run the bluegrass. The, the run the bluegrass. Oh, that's on, I told you on the, your life thing. That's uh, on my bucket list for sure. It's, it's just tree in the hills, which you probably don't need to do because you've already done. But <laughs> yeah, there's a reason that they they market it as America's most beautiful race <laughs> because they're wanting to distract you from the fact hills. that it's also <laughs> yeah. like 90 degree hills for people in Florida. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We live in a very flat area, so yeah, we yeah. understand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I. The highest point yeah. in our city here is 13 feet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, so we're at the Jersey Shore area. So there's really like North Jersey has all the Appalachian trails and everything. Ooh. But down here in South Jersey, oh. we're by the shore and the beach. And like it's again, it's as flat as flat can get. Yeah. If it's you Florida get, flat. Yeah. Yeah. Same it, thing. Florida flat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hashtag yeah. Florida flat. Yeah. So. <laughs> We have to do like stair training or go or travel two hours to find Hills. our training. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sometimes we'll do parking garages. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a, a good, good idea. idea. Yeah. 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 Or like bridges that actually have walk walking mm-hmm. path. But the parking yeah. garages yeah. keep you on your feet because that way you can dodge cars. Yeah. Too. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get in there. I don't know. Anyway, that's what I would say. It's, yeah. It's hard okay. to choose, though. And good pick. An embarrassment of riches. Just lucky. Awesome. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna segue into the inside the actors studio questions. So nervous. Yes. Yeah, this I'm was inspired. Nervous. I mean, this whole runner studio is inspired by inside the actor studio. So we like oh. to finish this off with uh, the original James Lipton questions. We're <laughs> huge it. fans of James Lipton. <laughs> and I will start with, what is your favorite word? Hmm. Love. Hmm. Quiet. Yeah. Ooh. I, like that. I feel like I'm going to learn something about you after all of these questions. <laughs> I think We've so. been married for 23 years, but I think, you know, that's going to be eye opening for us. Yeah. What is your least favorite word? You go. You, yeah. Work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, disappointment. Good answers. Right. What turns you on? Oh. <laughs> An unexpected PR at a race. There you oh, go. Yes. Yep. I love that. Yeah. And that's the last run Disney race that we that we had uh wine and dine 2019. I, I I wasn't going for a PR. We crossed the line. We were in line for a beer. And I looked down at the official time in the app and said, it's a PR. Nice. That's, that's a, awesome. Yeah, that's to do it. yeah, that's yeah. fun. So, Love that. And that. Segues to my word, which is accomplishment. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. What turns you off? Whining. <laughs> mm. House cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> What sound or noise do you guys love? I think the sound of Dana's laughter. Aww. Mm-hmm. See, I didn't know we were going to get all this sentimental. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 just... I was going to say the cat purring. when. It's oh, that's us. fantastic. That, that is, is a great sound. That is a good sound. So sweet. What noise or sound do you guys hate? I would say the iPhone alarm sound. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know that sound? Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I actually was going to have to agree. I, we 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 both set our alarms in the morning at four four in the morning. That's the last thing I want to hear. So I'm, yeah. I'm go with that. Too. I have to turn it off, which means I have to get up. So you know, and get that run done. There you go. Oh, is this one mine? Mm-hmm. Oh, and I have to edit too. Uh, what is your favorite curse word if you have one? <laughs> Oh, 
I, I would I would have to say the MFR. <laughs> <laughs> See now you don't have to edit. <laughs> you don't have to edit, you know. Look I was trying so that you don't so that you don't earn that explicit tag. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's uh, what I would say. I'm gonna go with <laughs> Does that mean you have to edit now? Does that have to go on? That gets a nice little bleep. Uh, that's a good one. I can't wait for that. But I should have said mine. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, what profession other than your own would you like to attempt? Well, I, I would like to be a professional podcaster. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We both have day jobs. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> so that's that's a that's a goal. That's what I work toward. Yeah. I'd love to have a beautiful singing voice, but I don't. <laughs> I would like that too, actually. Yeah. Yeah, so a singing nice. podcaster. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I was going to say the uh profession other than what I currently do. Um I'm I'm fortunate enough to be you love doing, your job. doing the yeah. thing that I love, but if I couldn't do this then I think that I would probably do something like a uh, politician. I, you know. Oh, mm. he, you did double major. Yeah, oh, so oh, there you go. Okay. Probably where I would head into. Yeah. What profession would you not like to do? I would say, you know, man, you know, it connects to an earlier answer. I think anything in the cleaning in the realm of cleaning or janitorial <laughs> services yeah. yeah i applaud those people immensely they mm-hmm. are doing the yeah. lord's work <laughs> i don't ever want to do it so i agree <laughs> and i would gosh you know what um being here in florida i'd say the thing i don't ever want to do is uh yard work Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's sure. true yeah. in Florida. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, miserable. And then our last James Lipton question. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? You want me to go first? Jamie? Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um. Oh. You did good, and your entire family, including your furry friends, are here waiting. Oh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty good. I think he, what I'd like for him to say, and you you drove it like you stole it. Great. I love it. That's That's a perfect way to end this. Well, thank you both very much for coming on. Do you have anything that you'd like to plug? Oh, well, I mean, we would love for people to check out our show. Uh, we are the Run Eat Drink podcast. Our website is runeatdrink.net, and we are on all of the social things. We're Run Eat Drink podcast on Facebook and Instagram. Instagram. Run Eat Drink pod on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Run Eat Drink podcast uh, YouTube channel Mm -hmm. and uh we would also like to plug shamelessly the we'll run for podcast (laughs) head on over to apple podcasts and Uh, give them a five-star rating so that tom can run five miles uh, oh he just he just upped the ante too or what did you say what was the up of the ante i I couldn't remember oh no it just literally just happened (laughs) like 10 minutes ago or however long ago saying that he will not only run five miles, but he'll also do running five miles with whatever else they want him to do. With whatever that's legal. strange thing you want him to <laughs> like do. Like while running. Uh, there you go. That's reason enough. Head on over no, and give him a rating and review now. Five stars. Let's Love go. Thank you. Uh, thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you for having us. This was a whole lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Thank absolutely. you so much for coming on. We really appreciate it. We love your podcast. We'll continue listening and engaging and sharing and, you know, building our relationship. Absolutely. Thank you. Same right. here. Thanks, Thank guys. guys. Right. Awesome. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.